Yes, 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 beautiful people. How are you? How are you? Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hope you guys are doing good. Hope you are fine. It's a beautiful morning, guys. And we thank the Lord for this beautiful day. So I want to welcome you all to this beautiful channel here, Onga Junior. And uh, to feel free, guys, to be in this channel here, to watch my videos to the end like the videos comment and if possible you can as well share and if you are new to the channel here kindly subscribe kindly subscribe guys i want to thank you all for those who are supporting me in whichever way you are doing thank you so much i want to i want to get a very big thank you to my friend wonder love wonder love she knows she has been a really amazing amazing support and thank you very much wonder love for your support and continue supporting me I really, I really appreciate you. So guys, today is a special video, a very amazing video here. As you can see, I'm just walking, and uh, this road here is leading to our center here. You can just see the homestead around here, you know. The homesteads around here, you can see the beautiful homesteads here, the flowers and everything, and the beautiful roads here. You can see, guys, this homestead looks beautiful. The birds are just singing there. Wow. So guys, just have a view of this village here. Have a view as we walk down, down the stream. There is a very big stream down here. Just uh, some, uh, some, some few meters here. There's a very big stream here. You can see this uh, garden here. Somebody's garden here with the bananas. We have the cassavas there. This is called the passion, the mango tree. You can see them, guys. This is really beautiful. You can see the beauty of this nature here. The plants, the trees. And even the clouds are very clear today, guys. You can see the clouds are very clear, you know. And uh, yesterday it never rained. So you can see the sun. That's the sun. That's the sun, guys. You can see the sun. You know, the time I'm feeling this video this morning, this morning hours, and the sun is around 10 a.m. in the morning. So you can just have, see how cool it is. The environment is very cool, guys. Let's have a look at. That's where I'm from. Just see the trees on that way there. They look beautiful. As you just come down here, these are just people's plants, people's gardens. These are the sugar cane. You can see the sugar cane around here. So there's another way here leading to somebody's garden here. You can see now. Yep, well. So that's a greeting there, guys. I've just greeted that uh, person. How are you? And she's from the garden, you know. She's from the garden. But just have a look at, just have a view, guys. This is our village. You can say, leave a word. In this village here what can you say about our village guys what can you say about our village so we let us let, let us just walk to the stream there you're gonna see the stream there it's really a beautiful stream there and uh, it's very big right now because it is raining in the village here so the volume of water has increased in the stream there and it's very big so this is a sisal you know this is a sisal here you can see the sisal here guys today i'm just touring you around i'm just touring you around this village here and I want you to see these beautiful things. These are sisal here. This one is actually the sisal, but basically it is used in boundary marking, you know. When you are marking the boundary, you have a land between these two people. So if you want to mark the boundary, you use the sisal. That's the main use for it. And also, there are some people also use uh, sisal in making ropes, you know. Making ropes. This, this is a sugarcane plantation here. The other side also is a sugarcane plantation here, guys. You can just see how this village looks like. It really looks beautiful beautiful village indeed and over there you can see over there that is another this is the same same village but at that point there are people doing mining you know gold mining now that area as well we have a lot of gold the gold the gold that point as you see that point over there see that point over there that's where we have the gold mining yes beautiful people good morning good afternoon good evening depending on the time you will go will be watching the video at the time of the moment i'm taking this video it is an afternoon time here in kenya it's an afternoon and that's now almost lunch time in kenya so guys today i've just visited a forest here just to have a chill and interact with nature because i love nature nature gives it gives freshness you know when you feel like you are so tired things are not working for you then you find a cool place you know cool up Find a, find a cool place and interact with nature so guys i just found my i just decided to come here and interact with the nature here you can see i'm just in this forest here this uh, trees here it's really beautiful having fresh air and it's really beautiful interacting with nature do you love nature 
that's a question just leave in a comment there tell me what you think about nature so guys uh, this 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 trees we're seeing here i know in the village here right now the trees are very expensive and uh, this guy here planted these trees here in a rocky place that uh, people had abandoned you know this place had been abandoned by many people even the honor itself was not even plowing or digging it it was just laying idling there so this guy it is a purchased this land here and you can see what he's doing here he's doing an amazing job here and remember one round pole, this is called a round pole here this is a round pole here one round pole goes for two dollars that's two dollars and there are like thousands of round poles here which means that will be around uh, two thousand dollars not even two thousand not, not even two that thousand there are more than one thousand round poles in this garden you are seeing here in this forest here so imagine just imagine uh, let's say approximately there are two thousand round poles which of course i'm very sure there are more than but uh, let us deal with the approximation now two thousand times two that's around four thousand dollars four thousand dollars that's much money that's much money guys that one you are a millionaire in the village here you are a millionaire in the village here. so what i will advise if you are maybe you want to do something you want to plant some trees there just do it guys you know you never know that thing you are leaving there's something that might help you in the future that's one, one of the things that might help you in the future so just do something if you have a plan to do just do it so guys i'm so happy to share my the village how my village looks like with you guys all over the world and uh, that's what i always say you are my i'm your ambassadors guys and i always want to give the best of my videos you know i always want to give the best of my videos so you can see on this area this land here you can see how rocky it looks like oh how look how rocky it looks like but this guy is still just doing something amazing here amazing job is doing here you can see how the cones are growing there but the garden needs to be weeded you can see the garden guys there Oh, it looks beautiful right now the village looks more green because it is raining and as you can see even the clouds look so beautiful but they are bearing some rain you can see they're pregnant they are of rains the, the clouds are bearing some rains in the next few minutes there will be, there will be rain in the village here so right now the village looks so green so green guys let us just have a walk along or in between this forest here as we interact with nature and as you see how things are here so guys if you want to do something maybe you want to plant i always advise people to plant more trees <clears throat> because i believe in nature i believe nature gives the best the best the best if you want refreshment just look for nature if you want uh, beautiful places it is just about nature so there is a plant i've seen here i want to show you this plant here you see this plant which is white whitish the whitish plant here let me just use this one here because this one is more conspicuous you know this one is more conspicuous this one conspicuous you can see this one here guys with the with the white uh, stem here this plant is called uh, the wild berries you know this wild berries you can see it but right now it has got no fruits it is called wild berries that fruit is very sweet and we used to eat it when we were growing up when we were still young people we used to grow we used to eat it especially when we went grazing out you know as an african boy as a village boy as we grew up in the village grazing animals that was the order of the day and uh, for a man you had to you had to go and graze animals but i don't see it nowadays nowadays uh, these young people are really feeling nice because they're enjoying you know they're enjoying the existence they're just enjoying they no longer graze animals in the village here they no longer graze animals but that's life you know that's life that's how life is guys you can just have a see have a look at this nature how nature is and uh, how beautiful the village looks like now down here there is a river guys there's a river down here there is a river here and i just want to show you how it looks like in this river here here is where we used to bathe you know we used to bathe very long time ago and these are just animals somebody's animals these are not mine and I don't know their owner. This here looks so muddy, and I'm not gonna pass over here because it is very muddy. So you can see this sugar cane here. This sugar cane here. This is now almost being harvested. This is now being almost being harvested. Guys, you can see here it looks very muddy here. So what we do, 
let me go and pass over the other side you know let me go and follow the other side so that i can show you the best in that river there is where we used to bathe very long time ago when we were still young and we used to to swim in that river there but uh, we no longer swim there because uh, the place where we used to swim in was destroyed i don't know why but again we are big people nowadays i'm a big guy i can't come and swim in the river if i want to swim i look for a nice swimming pool go take refreshment and that's the thing so let us just have a look just just have a walk guys no one in this one here this tree here when i see this tree here in the village here that tree goes for around uh, for around uh, huh, 20 dollars i think 20 dollars that's not bad that's not bad money guys i just want to show you the something here very is very interesting you know i'm trying to find my way i just came this side of this of the villages of the village and i saw this interesting thing here and i said let me share with you guys because i'm your ambassador you know and i always want to give you the best so let me just walk through this way here i'm very sure it's gonna lead me to where i'm going but in the village here rivers like this one doesn't have bridges you know you just jump over them you just jump over these rivers here no no that no 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 bridge or no special bridge in the village here and right now you know since it is raining some rivers have got too much water the volume of water has increased wow really beautiful guys it looks like a waterfall you know it looks like a waterfall oh <coughs> somebody was harvesting sand here so you can see guys yes the point where we used to bathe see this point here but we no longer bathe here because we are big people here at this point there are even some fishes here around just swimming the fish is just swimming here so you can see it is raining and this water this river is a small river and you might think that's a, a waterfall you know that's our waterfall in the village <laughs> that's our waterfall guys it's a very small waterfall there i don't know whether to call it a waterfall or what oh you can see this now the waterfall here. Yes, beautiful people. How are you? How are you? It is a beautiful day, guys. Beautiful evening, a beautiful afternoon, I mean. I take this opportunity, guys, to welcome you all to my beautiful channel, Oonga Junior. Wherever you are, feel free, feel most welcome to this beautiful channel, guys. It's another day. We thank the Lord for this beautiful day, you know. It is by His grace, guys, you can see the next day. And we give thanks to the Most High for His mercy and grace is so sufficient on us. So if you are watching this video, kindly know that you are alive and give thanks to the Lord. Let me greet you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time you're going to watch the video and depending on the time zone, your time zone, guys. So I want to appreciate you all, guys. Those who have been supporting me in one way or the other. May God bless you. To those who are coming to check me daily on a daily basis what i'm doing also may god bless you and whatever you do may it become a success those who are coming just new my new subscribers i take this opportunity to thank you all and welcome you to this beautiful channel stay connected and enjoy the amazing vlogs mostly in the village and in africa kenya to be specific Guys, today I just want to show you, you know, I'm just in the village here, just relaxing. It is a beautiful Saturday, a beautiful weekend. And guys, as you can see, it is almost raining. You can see the village, how it looks like. You can see the, the those are called the clouds. You can see guys, it is heavily, they have heavily, 
bearing rains and it is soon 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 raining in the village guys guess this something i was really amazing i was just sitting in the house and i heard i heard out the, the clouds the thunder was rumbling and i said this i must share with my beautiful people all over the world guys just have a look at this village here when it is almost raining just have a look guys the beautiful it looks really amazing 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 guys wow this the clouds the clouds look so good so amazing this god's creature you know guys i love nature because with nature everything is really beautiful guys everything is really beautiful so let me just move close and see and don't forget that as soon the rains are almost raining as you can see this side here the construction is going on and it is almost being done so i'm gonna share with you also what's going on here maybe later on but before i take you there i want to show you something over there guys there's something over there which we just did yesterday i'm gonna show you you know in this work in there they they harvested the other time here they, there was a, a bee a bee a bee hive here the bees some bees were just staying here and so the bees proved to be so so aggressive you know they were so wild and now they were just moving around they were just hovering around and some were even stinging the animals the animals who were being tied here they were stinging and guys do you know what i've just had an animal crying there a cow i think the cow is afraid of the the rain in our village here when you see the rain almost raining this way we said kotbiro mongeche emadere is as in the rain is just almost heavily want to rain and so all the monkeys want to hang themselves you know monkeys fear the rain now they want to hang themselves on the trees each and every monkey is looking for a tree to hide on that's what that's the direct translation of what i've just said kotbiro mongeche emadere beautiful guys you can see there is something here like uh, this just uh, a tree trunk a tree trunk here but it was a dry one it was a dry one so you see here you can see some cement some sacks of cement used cement there and you can see this uh, this truck was burnt this tree was burnt here so guys the main reason why it was burnt there lived some bees here the, some bees were just living here they were staying here you know and the, the reason why they were staying here you know before the harvest of this sugar cane here here was a little bit bushy here was very bushy and so they found the best place to hide they like hiding in places that nobody can see them but the, the worst part of it when you come to their hiding place and disturb them my friend you will be stung so this these bees were really they were so aggressive you know once this this uh, this work and was harvested here the bees become so aggressive and they were just moving around and stinging the cows who, who were just surrounding here so we came with a solution what what we came with the solution here was to i wish i could have captured the video guys i were doing it it never crossed my mind but i'm very sorry guys for disappointing you so we just came with an idea of burning this shuriken here this uh, this tree trunk here because they were living inside the tree trunk you know so it was very difficult to harvest them you could not even harvest them the only thing we could do was to burn the old tree trunk here you can see this tree trunk is is burnt you know it is burnt and it never burnt all now you see this point here this where the bees were living you know this point here and i can see some bees are still hovering around they are still flying around this place here i'm not sure but i'm very keen because they're not gonna bite me i mean sting me the bees doesn't bite they sting i'm very sorry for that guys that's what happened guys last night last night oh, i wish i could have done a video guys to show you the amazing thing what we were doing here you know the bees were so aggressive and we could not leave them i know somebody might say that's nature interference you interfere with the nature but guys they were so aggressive and we could not leave them here or else everyone was going to migrate from this home here and we were going to find another home which could be very impossible for us guys so the only solution we had to do is to do away with the bees there guys that's the only thing we could have done we are very sorry for interfering with the nature that's nature guys and we are very sorry i say i love nature i always say i love nature guys and uh, you don't need to interfere with the nature but sometimes 
it forces you guys i want you to see the clouds just see the cloud it is almost raining in this village here and this is the situation when it's almost raining in the village here this is the situation and right now all the monkeys are looking for the trees you know to hide on but unfortunately in our village here we don't have monkeys so unfortunate okay guys just have a look at the clouds heavily bearing rains and you can listen to the cloud the, the rumbling the rumbling the thunder rumbling the storm the thunderstorm rumbling rumbling okay that's this is how it looks like this is how it looks like very heavy you know the clouds are so heavy they're so heavy guys they are they, they are bearing a lot of rain and uh, it is like today we're gonna experience the rains too much you know you're gonna experience that rain. and that's sun there guys that's sun there you can see the sun there you can see the sun there guys and the rays are so strong so they're trying there's a fight between the clouds and the sun even it's more heavier i guess the clouds are gonna are gonna the clouds are gonna do this on the sun they're gonna do this on the sun you know they're gonna do this on the sun and the sun is not going to be visible that's the thing there guys you can see the sun there the sun rays it's just amazing 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 this is now the our village guys when it is almost raining can you leave a suggestion guys what do you think do you think we have a beautiful village is the village beautiful guys i want to listen to your comment just write in a comment section there tell me your opinion tell me what you think of this village here to me i think we have the best village in the world most beautiful most beautiful guys and to make it even more beautiful the clouds the clouds itself has made it looks more beautiful guys we welcome visitors in this village here feel free to come and visit us feel free to come and eat the sugar cane around you know we also have mining just some some meters apart away from my home here just come and see how we do mining in the village here guys here we have beautiful people come and connect with them come and see what they are doing come and eat the food you know the organic food in the village here really beautiful you welcome all visitors to the most beautiful village in kenya here now let's go guys and see what's happening at the construction site let's go and have a walk i will have to take away i will have to move with this side first let me just enter through this door but meanwhile just have a look guys look at the stage the building has reached i want you to look this to look the building keenly see what's happening there leave a suggestion is the building beautiful what do you think about it what do you think about it i think the mansion need a credit you know the mansion need a credit because he has done a wonderful job but again we can't forget to thank also those who are with him in doing the construction now this is the stage this is the stage of the construction guys this is the stage here have a look at what's happening here have a look at what's happening here guys and over there is my sister my sister is there washing the dishes washing the dishes you know washing the dishes this is our last one guys this is our last one, the last one of the family. Agal, do you want to say hi? <laughs> do you want to say hi? Huh? You don't want? Friends, I have a shy sister, but I guess because she's beautiful, that's why she's shy. She's beautiful, that's why she's shy. I guess she's beautiful. Not that I guess, she's always beautiful. That's the reason why she's shy and uh, she doesn't want to say hi to you guys anyway don't don't be worried that's how beautiful people behave they're always shy you know they're always shy so guys i want you to have a view of this this building here just have a view guys leave your opinion what do you think on the building what do you think what do you think guys what do you think about the building it looks beautiful Yes, you can see you can see the building how it looks like there are the mushrooms they're still doing what is called construction they're still going on with the construction there guys you can see them but just have a view at the aerial point at the aerial point okay these are just the materials 
that are still there and with the construction is not yet done we are still going on with the constructions and even where i'm stepping as these are that's the timbers that were used you know we call them the off cuts you know when you are making timbers and now the the waste not really really waste but they are called off cut these are called off cuts here you can see these ones here they are called off cuts you know? now these are the sand here they're gonna do plastering inside this house here this plastering guys i know i've showed you many times inside this house here but my main interest guys today is just to show you the progress you know to show you the progress i know you have watched a lot of videos on this on this building here on the building here but my main concern today is just to show you the progress guy and also leave your opinion on it i want you guys to leave your opinion let's move guys let's go the mushrooms are doing wonderful job here and we, we really appreciate their work so as we count as we enter this is the main this is the back door i mean and uh What's up? Yes. And now, what's up? What's up? So, guys, uh, work is still going on here. Work is still going on here. Let's continue. This is just the corridor here. It's the corridor here. And I told you this is just the bedroom, you know? The bedroom here. And this is the, we call it uh, the ladder. They step here as they make the the wall plate it is called wall plate you know that one over there is called the wall plate it has been has moved here also it's called the wall plate this one here it's also called the wall plate guys you can see how it is it is you can see now you enter through that door this is the door leading to the kitchen you know and uh, where this guy is doing something mixing mixing here is called the kitchen here it's just mixing the the sand and the and the cement you know that's what is doing there because the construction is still going on now you can see guys leave a comment leave a comment leave a comment what's your suggestion what do you think it's really beautiful and this is now the bedroom for the visitors you know if you are a visitor you want to come to this and live here you want to sleep here this bedroom can accommodate as many visitors as possible don't worry don't see it is very small just come and pay as a visit here you want to find a better place to stay for all your time of visit in this home here a beautiful home with beautiful people who love visitors mm. now now this just just look the wood plate there that's that the wood plate and i was forgetting something here how is this thing called guys how is this thing being called this thing here this opening here how is it being called is it the hair conditioner or what this hole here guys i don't know this hole i never did construction kindly leave a comment there what is this hole here how is it being called i don't know that it's called the hair conditioner or not guys i need your opinion kindly leave a comment there leave a comment there. and somebody might ask why why is this place so maybe they have left something like this one don't worry guys you know when they were doing construction they 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 made a hole so that they can put the ladder i've just shown you there so they can stand all over, over it as they do the construction there that's why they also can see but those holes will be done once the construction is done the plastering during plastering okay now just from the inside you can have the view those are my dogs they are sleeping there you can see them right just sleeping there and that's the top mushroom the contractor himself eh? talking there that's my pigeon you can see the pigeon there can you see the pigeon guys that's my pigeon there and others are also there at the corner there can you see them it gives the best view of this village this home here the mushrooms are still under construction guys they are still under construction and you can see what they are doing you can see what they are doing they are still under construction so guys i will just give you in the progress of this our building here what's the progress what's the progress what's the progress and i want you guys to leave your opinion leave your opinion leave your opinion what we'll leave your opinion guys just see the mushrooms doing work here work is just going on as you can see beautiful 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 let me just move to the other side so that you can see what's happening in a better way you know in a better way in a better way guys leave your opinion please kindly leave your opinion your opinion what's your opinion what do you think what do you think what do you think these are just the timbers that are going to be used when roofing you know when doing roofing they're gonna use these timbers here that's why they're there you can see 
the machines are still going on with the construction here. The construction is just on, 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 on. Fundi sok ma bay rama nyini tij. Sok ma bay nga dan na wajni lung na di fundi. <laughs> okay, okay, this is your daughter. Guys, you can see what's happening. They're still doing the construction. Construction is still going on here. Leave your opinion. And you have, you have got our top machines here. So, if you want to build a house, just contact us and we're going to assist you. We're going to help you very, very well. You can see the building, how it looks like. Cuts of this great man here, you are seeing here. This killed great man. Very beautiful, guys. Very, very, very beautiful. Very, very, very beautiful. And now this is the boss. You can see the boss just looking from a, an angle. Huh? Looking from an angle, he's seeing what's happening here. Now this is the top machine, guys. The contractor himself. That's a wonderful job here. You can just see here. It really looks beautiful. It's really beautiful. So if you want a house, guys, you want to construct a good house, kindly contact this great man with you who are very skilled in doing masonry this is beautiful guys thank you guys for watching this video here and kindly leave a comment leave your opinion what's your opinion i wanna see i'll be very grateful i'll be very happy guys if you give me a positive reaction a positive comment